Hello everyone, my name is Jared Beckwith. I'm a student studying EEG and today I'm going to be going over a normal variant called wicket rhythm. It's also sometimes referred to as wicket spikes or also wicket waves. Wicket waves are one of the most commonly seen benign variants on the EEG and they're often overinterpreted, meaning EEG technologists will see them and they'll think that it might be epileptic discharges because wicket waves are sharp waves which can be considered epileptiform discharges but this is just a normal variant that has to be has to be recognized if you want to be a professional and top performing EEG technologist. In contrast to true epileptiform spikes, wicket rhythm, it's more of an archiform shape, similar to mu rhythm. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description so you guys can check that out. Super important to know. Mu rhythm is going to be more in the central electrodes, and wicket rhythm is going to be seen most primarily in the temporal electrodes, so more on the sides of the head. Wicket waves can occur either unilaterally, so on one side of the head, or also bilaterally, so they can occur on both sides of the head at the same time. And wicket rhythm, it's usually going to be between 6 and 11 hertz, so 6 waves per second to 11 waves per second. And it's usually going to be between uh, 60 microvolts of amplitude, which is how high the wave goes up, to 200 microvolts of amplitude. Wickets are not accompanied by an aftergoing slow wave like spike in wave patterns, and they're usually seen in older adults, usually in drowsiness or light sleep, but they can also be seen in the awake state as well, but usually in drowsiness or light sleep. Now I wanna look at some actual EEG patterns of wicket rhythm so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about firsthand. Here's a good example of wicket rhythm that I found from eegpedia.org you can see that it has a nice arciform shape, just like mu rhythm, and it's coming from the T3 to T5 electrode most prominently. It's gonna be in the temporal regions. It's kinda of hard to see the exact frequency because I don't think the second markers are marked perfectly on this EEG, but it's between six and 11 waveforms per second with a 60 to 200 microvolts amplitude. I'm going to find another EEG where you can see the exact second markers so you'll be able to see that 6 and 11 waves per second more clearly and this one is just to look at it and see that the shape is just like this just arciform and that is wicket rhythm for you. Here's an EEG that I found from the Epilepsy Foundation on this one, the wicket rhythm is bilateral, so that means it's happening on both sides. It's most prominent in the temporal electrodes. And as you can see, if I zoom in a little closer, the lines that aren't dotted, the bold lines, are the one second markers. So if you go in here and count, if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so that's about seven hertz seven waves per second i counted on the right side that is definitely wicket rhythm this is a pretty good example so you guys can see it just in another eeg thank you all for watching i'm going to be coming out with new videos so make sure you're subscribed on normal variants like wicket rhythm also focal seizures generalized seizures everything you can think of relating to EEG. If, if you're studying to be an EEG technologist, a neurologist, epileptologist, I'm pretty sure these videos will be super helpful for you guys. That's my goal. Make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. I will see you guys on the next video and stay safe.